Hello, welcome back. This is going to be part four of the sanctuary. Went ahead and built sort of a games arcade area. It's basic because I've only been working on it a basically an hour and two hour or two. I had a rough idea in my head of what I wanted. I wanted it to be in the sort of close area of sanctuary. As you can see, sanctuary arcade, different kind of lights, alternating. As you come in, you've got ticket inspectors. Yes, it's guys' posts, but it's the only way I could think of to get people to stand there. And she moans a lot. First thing first. Let's go with the first thing I did, which is over here. Create sort of a indoor shooting gallery for prizes. There's tickets. So here we are, we've got a map and the building. Very basic, just threw it together to act as a front for the Nucacade machines. Over here you got a modded shop. I can't remember exactly what the mod is, but I was thinking like guns to shoot these. Because that's how you get the things. So guns. It's the wasteland, there's gonna be a lot of guns for sale but yeah got me settler if you work you eat it's as simple as that man in me gun store with me building this is just random bits of floor walls these reference racks are another mod that if I can remember I'll link it in the description if I can remember which one it actually is because yes I am running about a hundred mods right now on this game. It's ridiculous. Hence why my frame rate keeps tanking down. So yeah, weapon racks, cappy and bottle. Bins. I'm actually putting bins in here. Don't know, I might actually just fill it with random stuff. But yeah. Got the flashing lights and got the dispensers. There we are. Uh, next thing I did was the sign. I thought, why not actually have a proper signpost? Uh, these are here to add to like a rudimentary fence, so no one can get in, and you can't get out. That's all it is. Not rudimentary fence, so you can still see over. I'm going to remove this fence eventually, the white one, the picket fence, so you get a little view out across the water. I wonder. Oh, missing. Okay. Let me see if I can quickly hit that dog from here. Uh, why not? Nope. The uh, next thing I created was a dodgems or bumper cars. Not dodgems, bumper cars. This, I thought, it's going to have a metallic floor. There's nothing overhead to deliver power, so it has to be through the floor. Which I know, very dangerous, but this is Fallout. Most of it is. <sighs> Pardon me there, the shorting. Yes, it is. This is the metallic roof. It's the roof tiles used as a floor to give me a metallic looking floor. Then about three of each just dumped on top. This bit, bit of scaffold. With some uh, basic bits of floor tile. A light. A few nuclear world lampposts around. See, it doesn't have to be fancy this one. I am going to put another guard post there. Actually, I'll do that right now. To add, like, a ticket inspector. I can't remember where it is. No. There we are. Sort of a ticket inspector. This one, I think, will suit better. There we are. You can buy your tickets from this guy. For there. Then, I have a few bottles. Again, it's basically a fence. As you can see, basically a fence. Can't get through. Flags. 
Oh good. Sorry about the awning. Uh now put lights around. Because you can tell it's getting dark and if we were here put uh, some walking, I saw someone stuck up there again. Uh decorated the centre tree a bit. Took all like a focal point. Ignore the bed. So yeah. This is where I'm up to. And then I added this. Little ice cream stand. I was thinking, you can't just have that on its own. It's got to have its own area. So I created this. This bit's a prefer, prefab. In the metal. So metal, as you can see, water roof prefab. Some stairs. Some bar stools. Some shelves as added tables. Tray. This isn't a merchant stand. It's just a piece of decoration. So... Okay, I was going to show you him in a minute. He works in there. So I used one of the uh, merchant rugs, which is another sort of mod, to assign him to work there. I, I nearly lined it up perfect. I need to move that back slightly, actually. I'll move that back ever so slightly. Yeah, see, looks good enough from the front. Okay, I don't know where everyone's going, but sure. The doctor in there. So how's the coming in? Oh, I'm guessing you're letting the cat in first. I can appreciate that. Uh, a couple of arcade machines dotted around. You know, you've got to have games. Ignore the yellow lines. I don't actually know what they're about. They've just appeared. In here you have... Gambling! I still need to hook them up so settlers use them. Full on bar. This is a again say mod as the one over there. In that building. Oh, sorry. No, please excuse the yawning, it's been a very long day for me. But yeah, uh, okay, they still sit at them <laughs> and use them with no power. Okay, that's what it's there for. Surgery chair. Barber chair, this is just the odds and ends that you might get in a place like this, like tattoos and stuff. That's what this is about. Like I said, pool hall. Weapons to make it look pretty. The nuka board. A cat. So here we are. This is what it is so far. I ha like I said, I You're haven't so finished. All the time. No, you're not. The food's okay. Shut up. So yeah, this is what it's like at the moment. I still need to do a lot more work, adding a lot more to it, to make it better. But yeah, what you like, a quick little look around, where I'm up to. I still have to do the museum, I have a design idea in my head to do a sort of pre-world museum, and he's gone. And packed up all the stuff, as you can tell. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, catch me in the next part, but I don't know if it'll be carrying on this or carrying on something else. But yeah, it's coming on quite nicely at the moment. So yeah, catch me in the next part.